Backward compatibility is a popular concept in the software engineering world. And if you have been in the tech industry for a while, you have probably come across this term somewhere. But what exactly does this concept mean? In this video, I'll be simplifying the concept of backward compatibility using examples. This video is part one of a new continuous series I'm starting on my channel where I simplify different software engineering concepts. So if these are things you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and also turn notifications on. Now back to backward compatibility. Backward compatibility applies to several things in tech from libraries to frameworks to softwares and a lot of technologies now the whole concept of backward compatibility comes from the fact that when you create certain softwares you also create upgraded versions what do i mean by this now you create a particular software you call that version one version one can do a bunch of things and then you have another software which is version two and maybe version two can do everything version one can do with extra features that your users would love and then you have version three version 3 can do what version 1 and version 2 can do but with extra features now backward compatibility comes here in the sense that can version 3 execute your version 2 without problems or can your version 2 execute everything in version 1 without problems let me give you a quick example let's say you create a library and that is version 1 in that library you have a function called get product your users can use this to get product basically now when you create version two and then let's say in version two you still have your get product from version one and then you have something like get users version two is backward compatible with version one so any of your users that are using version one of your library they can safely upgrade to version two because version two works with version one now let's say in your version three instead of having get product you now change the name of the function to get all products but then you still have get users now in this case version 3 is not fully backward compatible with version 2 and that means if your users want to upgrade from version 2 to version 3 after upgrading they would have to look for all the occurrences of get product and rename it to get all product else the applications are going to crash because your new version does not support get product now this is the idea of backward compatibility can the new versions of your software support the previous versions of your software now the idea of backward compatibility sounds nice right it's like anybody creating software's libraries frameworks why wouldn't they want to do it well as nice as this looks for some features backward compatibility can be very hard it can be very complex for developers to move forward and still ensure that they can still support the things at the back so it's not like they're just moving forward and creating new features but as they're creating and testing these new features they have to ensure that these previous features can still work so backward compatibility can be very complex in some cases so what some developers do is to create systems that can help you with that transition coming back to this example let's say you want to go from version 2 to version 3 this has changed from get products to get all product what some developers will do is create those toolings or workflows such that as you're upgrading from version 2 to version 3 that whole setup can replace every occurrence of get product to get all product for you so that way you don't have to upgrade to version 3 and start doing this manually by yourself so developers do things like this to make your lives better so you can upgrade so you can use the new features that they have without worrying about everything you would need to fix in your app and sometimes this is not 100 percent it might help you 90 percent but you still have some 10 percent to do by yourself and as well we have forward compatibility although this is not something very common but the idea of forward compatibility is can your previous versions support the new versions of your software and when you think about it it's like how is that going to be possible but there are a few systems that actually implement things like this i hope this video helps and clarifies this concept like i said i'm going to be making more simplified videos on software engineering concepts so if these are things you'll be interested in and if you enjoyed this video give it a like share with others and subscribe for more videos like this